If you're new to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Twyla have been traveling part-time around Australia for the last two years. So to check out all our past episodes and all our episodes in the future, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe. So this is our first official stop in Nowa. We've come straight out to the Fleet Air Army Museum. This place looks huge. So I don't know if Holly can go in, so we'll find out. And then we'll head in and take a look. Before we even headed into the hangar, there was so much outside to take in and look at. Just take a look at the size of this ship propeller. I know Adam Shaw, but still, this was absolutely huge i can't imagine the ship oh there it is there the ship that it pushes along and supposedly i think there was meant to be eight of these on the ship so that ship must have a lot of power and then over here they had this huge cannon or gun i don't quite have my army terminology down quite well but look how thick the protection is on it so if you stood behind it you'd probably feel a little safe well who feels safe at wall, but yeah, it was great to see it in real life and just see the mass amount of metal or steel um, to make to make one of these things. But anyway, you just pop through here, you can see where your target is. But yeah, really enjoyed checking this out. And just next to this, you had the radio antenna which would definitely pick up some great TV programs, I reckon. And then on your way in, make sure you don't trip over this missile someone just left on the Museum ground. Museum is free to enter, no that is to ask for a donation. So I'm about to head in. Um, we're gonna take it in turns, cause Twyla can't come in. Um, but unless you've got a care dog, then they can. But that's no problem, so we'll just take it in turns. In the early 70s, a small energetic team of Navy volunteers started collecting relics from around HMAS Albatross, including five obsolete RAN aircraft, which become the foundations of the Fleet Air Arm Museum, established in 1974. The museum collection expanded exponentially through the 1980s and the growing band of volunteers raised over $8 million to build the museum facilities at the gates of the HMAS Albatross the home of the Fleet Air Arm. Today, the RAN Flight Air Arm Museum is one of the largest regional aviation museum in New South Wales, containing over 30 aircraft and numerous aviation artifacts tell the story of Australia's naval aviation and development of the Royal Australian Navy's Fleet Air and Arm. Don't know exactly why, but this is probably my favorite. How awesome does this look? So cool, I'd love to see this flying in the sky. You could spend absolutely hours in this hangar. All the planes, jets, and the helicopters have fantastic information boards in front of them for easy reading and to find out everything you need to know about these amazing aircraft. It was amazing how close you could actually get to the aircraft, seeing all the fine details. This Sea King, you could walk right up into seeing all the controls and the buttons. I think you'd need to be a scientist just to fly one of these things. If you got kids, I think they would find this absolutely fascinating. And I think this place would be a very popular one to come to on the school holidays.
just the size of this museum is incredible. I didn't know what to expect walking in here. It does not look this big from the outside, but inside it is huge and they have so much on display. Oh, just take your time because there's lots to read, lots to see. And have an upstairs and in the upstairs part there is some beautiful artwork on the wall so make sure you do check this out when you're here. Please check out the photos as well. Look how awesome these ones look. That was probably one of the best army museums I've ever been to. If this was the only reason why I came to now, it would have been worth it. So definitely pop in if you come here. Don't miss it because it is incredible. Make sure you check your dates because normally they're closed on a Monday. Check it out because you don't want to miss out. And um, yeah, and it's right next to the airfield too. So you never know, you might get treated to seeing a few uh, army aircraft take off you never know and uh, there's a few army bases around here also but yeah definitely worth to check out it was incredible and probably the like I said the best museum army museum I've ever been to Well, that's it for another midweek episode. Thanks, guys, for watching. Our merch is out now if you want to purchase any of it. We've got mugs, T-shirts, hoodies, like the one I'm wearing, and also windsheet art. So if you want to check them out, oh, and even a tote bag, uh, just scan the code right there. It will take you straight to our merch site. Um, or otherwise, you can go down into the description and you'll find a link there. We will be on live chat this Sunday at 5 p.m. for our latest episode. So we hope to see you then. And until then, make sure you have a good week. See you guys. Bye.